everybody, Brad C. here. Just an update on my Gungner build. This is the Gungner chassis. You can get it for $49.99 shipped, which is an awesome deal. This is a drop-in chassis. You can put your Ruger 1022 in it, and you've got an AR platform that you can you know, put your AR pieces on here. Now, this is from CDS Tactical, and this is what today's review is going to be about. This is a cheek pad that goes on top, and you've seen other videos that I've done for the CDS Tactical products. Love them, and pretty much have them on everything I run. They're very affordable, and I'll put links in the description to these. Now, this pad comes in various sizes, like most of theirs do. You can get the quarter inch, which is really thick, or you can get the eighth inch, which is what I use for my build, or you can get the sixteenth inch. Just to get an idea of the thickness, I'm going to put a U.S. quarter here on the one-eighth inch that I used. Now here is the quarter against the quarter inch. Now on some of my other guns, I went with a higher thickness. It's all about what your personal comfort levels and what you want. Now here is the sixteenth of an inch pad, and you can see it beside a quarter. It's pretty much the same size as a quarter, maybe just a hair bigger. Okay, let's take a look at what comes in this kit. First of all, you're going to have a nice box, and it's going to have the instructions here to how to install this. And of course, you're going to have your cheek riser pad in a nice Ziploc bag, CDS Tactical Products card, and of course, they are made in the USA, your alcohol swab wipes, and a sticker from CDS Tactical, live free or die. Part one is locating what's called the V-notch. You see that there and right there? Find those areas here and over here on your pad. Now you're going to take those V-notch areas and you're going to take those over and you're going to locate how this actually goes on. And it's going to go on just like the other one did. And you're going to put that V-notch right up here. There'll be a line right down the middle. You maybe can't see it in my camera, but there's a line that goes down through there. You line that V-notch up with that and practice dry runs, getting it exactly where you want it. And once you figure out exactly how you want it, now you're going to be removing the adhesive. Now, this next step is not in their instructions, but they are in my instructions. So follow them if you wish. I take a hair dryer and I put this somewhere where you know the surface won't heat up and cause any problems. You know, I wouldn't do it over cloth. And then I put a hammer on top of it or something heavy to hold it. Now I take my hair dryer. You know I don't really have much use for a hair dryer in real life, but with this I, I take the hair dryer and I heat it up really good. Now not overheating it, but I'm melting that adhesive down. I want it good and melted to where when I peel this off, now when I put it on, it's going to be ready to seal and melt. And then you're going to start at the top, get everything lined up, and make sure it's perfect. And then once you're sure that it's perfect and it's right where you want it, now you need to make sure you've done enough dry runs so you know exactly where you want yours. You want to get this straight as possible, of course. And then you start at the top, and then you work your way out to each side. And once you get it exactly where you want it, make sure you work out any bubbles, air bubbles that could be in there, and then get it to where it's supposed to be, and hold down on it. Grip it all over. Kind of push, pull, push, pull type thing you know push pull push pull and then once you do that a little while then you're going to take it and actually grip down really hard and hold it for three minutes and then if you ever need to remove this you take your hair dryer and you'd heat this up really good and it'll just peel right off really quickly for those interested this is an mft collapsible stock unfortunately i think i got a knockoff i i paid 15 bucks on ebay i love it uh, i did have a slight wobble to it but i've got a video that shows you how to fix wobbly stocks easy fix. I've got legit Magpul flip-up sights, TRS-25 red dot as usual, Magpul hand grip, and this is also a legit MFT grip here in the front. Just going to do a little bit of plinking with this Gungner build. I forgot my tripod, so I've got it sitting on the back of my side beside there, so we'll do what we can, but I think you can see the targets from there. 25 yards, let's see what it can do. Make sure you like, subscribe, and you can check me out at bradctv.com.